What is code? An overview. Code is instructions. In summary, code is the fundamental medium through which humans communicate with computers to create software and automate tasks. It involves writing instructions, testing and employing them to various environments, all while adhering to the logical flow of execution. Through code, developers harness the power of computers to accomplish a wide range of tasks, from basic calculations to building sophisticated applications. Code refers to a set of instructions written in a programming language that a computer can understand and execute. It is a way for humans to communicate with computers and provide them with specific tasks to perform. Code is typically written by software developers or programmers to create software applications, websites, scripts, and more. It is composed of a series of statements and commands that specify the desired behavior or actions to be taken by the computer. Once the code is written, it needs to be translated into a format that the computer can understand and execute. This process is called compilation or interpretation, depending on the programming language. The resulting executable code can be run on a computer or other computing devices, performing the desired tasks or producing the expected output. Usually, we write code in an IDE and install the necessary software to run the code in the IDE in order to test the code. While writing code, we have to run it in order to see how the code executes. Most times when we are done developing the code in the IDE, we put this code somewhere else, such as a server or on a web page, where it can be run and used by users. But while we're writing the code, we need to be able to test run it, to see that it will act the way we want it to in the environment, such as the browser, as it's intended to be used in. Some people view coding as logic, and the act of coding as translating something we want done into a set of logical statements. Some see it as communicating with machines using their language, and mean that all coding is just communication. Code is read from top to bottom. The computer does or executes each line in the program in order. It does what is written on the code on line 1, then proceeds to line 2 and executes that line. Code can do many things. It has as many uses as anyone can come up with. It can manipulate data by performing operations such as calculations, comparisons, data transformations and storage. Code can interact with users or other systems by taking input and providing output. Input can be received from the user through command line arguments, keyboard input, or other sources. Output can be displayed on the screen, saved to files, or sent to other devices or networks. What is a program? A program is a collection of instructions that are written in code and whose job is to carry out a specific task or set of tasks. It is a sequence of coded commands that are designed to be executed by a computer or other computing devices. A program can be as simple as a few lines of code or as complex as a large software application. It can perform a wide range of tasks, such as mathematical calculations, data processing, file manipulation, user interaction, and more. A program is composed of individual instructions that dictate the precise steps the computer should take. These instructions are written using a programming language, and each instruction has a specific purpose and action associated with it. Programs often work with data, which can include user inputs, stored information, or data generated during execution. Programs can manipulate, transform, and analyze data to produce meaningful outputs. Programs utilize control structures to control the sequence in which instructions are executed. This allows for decision-making and repetitive actions based on certain conditions. Programs often include reusable code blocks called functions. These blocks encapsulate a set of instructions that can be invoked multiple times from different parts of the program. Functions provide modularity and code reusability. 
many programs interact with users by taking inputs, providing outputs, and presenting information through graphical interfaces, command line interfaces, or other means. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.